In this video, I will show you how to join multiple shapes together in the best way possible and make them look organically stitched. So keep watching. We have three dope objects, and let me first turn on the statics number on the viewport. So, if you're new to Blender, you probably knew that Control J as a shortcut can join objects. The thing is, this shortcut joins the layers and not the topology of the mesh itself. And you can see that after we join those three with Control J, we can easily, in edit mode, select any one of those objects by hitting the L key. The thing we need to do to join those shapes in the right way is Boolean. And there's an add on built in Blender called the Bool tool. It's more of a shortcut for the Boolean modifier. So once you enable it in the preferences, select the objects you have in the scene and hit Control plus. This way we add Boolean modifiers on union type to join those shapes. Now it's making stitches on the shape, but it looks rough. And you can try to apply the Boolean modifiers, then hit the shape with subsurface to smooth the connection points, but it's not that easy. See, the thing is, those three objects have three different topologies. So we need to remesh them, and how to do that. Easy. Once you applied the Boolean, add to the new shape a remesh modifier. We will put it on the smooth type. The shape is missing part of it from the bottom to fix. That makes sure the remove disconnect option is unchecked. Then we only need to change the depth value. You can go up from four level by level to see the best result, but try to max it with nine, because a value of 10 can spike the vertices number by a lot. Nine looks fine with the shape I have. So what we need to do next, two things. First, we need to smooth the connection between the main three shapes. We do that using the smooth corrective modifier, add it to the shape. Enable the only smooth option, put the factor in it at one, then increase the repeat value by a lot. And I mean something between 100 and 300, depend on the shape you want to end up with. Now we got it joined in a more organic way than before. So fix the smooth values as you like and apply the modifier once you're done. The remaining thing to do is dropping this crazy number of polygons in this shape. We do that with the decimate modifier, add it to the shape, leave it on collapse. I will go with 0.05 as a ratio. You can go around that number depending on the shape you're working on. And here you have it. You just need to shade smooth the mesh and apply the decimate modifier. And that's it. Subscribe if you're still here, because why not? And see you guys in the next video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.